Stephen, that was a, uh, a close run thing at the end. How are the emotions in the dressing room? Yeah, obviously up and down. I think uh, 106 for two, we were looking quite comfortable, uh, especially with the way Clarkie going in, the way he's played all season uh, has been magnificent. Um, you know, we were looking comfortable at that point, I thought. There was obviously a little bit of turn there. Uh, and then it ebbed and flowed. They got, I think, four for 27 or 24 or something like that. Um, but, you know, it doesn't matter how you get over the line. And, and we managed to do that in the end. And I thought it was quite fitting, obviously, for Jake to hit the winning runs. Yeah, he's had quite a game, hasn't he? Run out, wickets and the winning runs in the end. Not a bad way to start. Yeah, and off. a great catch this morning. Because uh, that was an important part of the game this morning. So, you know, I think... What I can say, I think it's been played, and credit to Middlesex for this really, that the game's been played and the integrity of the game has been upheld really well. Uh, there was no conversations about setting up a game. Uh, they went out there this morning with a clear goal to get obviously 200-ish uh, and put us under pressure on a, on a spinning pitch. Um, and luckily we came out on top. What was your approach as a team to today, knowing that Middlesex were going to have to come out and do that? Yeah, well, we thought we'd have a chance of taking wickets because we knew they had to be aggressive and score at, you know, six, seven and over, however, you know, give themselves enough time to bowl us out. Um, but at the same time, when you're not, we, we took the approach of setting the field back and if they got six and over, it would take them, you know, the best part of 35, 40 overs to get to 200 plus, um, which was the case this morning. So that was the reason for the tactics. And I thought, obviously, we wanted to chase as least as possible um, on, a, on a turning pitch against some quality spin, to be fair. It was Jake Ball with the winning runs, but Matthew Montgomery out there with him. What have you made of the maturity of the way he's yeah. played this season? Yeah, well, firstly, I think Ben Slater set it up beautifully. I think in both innings, obviously, first innings played unbelievably and then and then under pressure there played well. Uh, but Monty, you know, he's got an old head on young shoulders. Uh, we've seen him do it before. Metro Bank this year, I think, against Kent, he got 19 out and won it with a reverse paddle off a of seamer. So we know he's, he's good under pressure and he, he can take the emotion out of the game. Um, yeah, and it's just magnificent to see that, or get him get us over the line and be the not-out batsman at the end. Another change of role for you in recent weeks, elevating up to number three. How have you found it higher up the order again? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, it was a lovely wicket at Kent. I probably left a few out there, to be fair. played a couple of poor shots. Um, yeah, I've enjoyed it. I felt, you know, I've not been happy with my season. Obviously, I've not had a great season. Um, you know, but in the break, I, I changed a couple of technical things that seemed to have worked. Felt really good today, and then obviously I couldn't get my foot back. My spikes got stuck in the floor, so I couldn't get back. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. I think, um, you know, I've batted everywhere now, so I'm not really too fussed what happens. And uh, what about the season as a whole, a first year back in Division 1? Yeah, obviously there's, there's things that we, we want to need to work on uh, if we want to be challenging the likes of Surrey and Essex at, up the top of the table. Um, and, and obviously we'll sit down, have a, have a bit of rest and, and get away from it for a bit, and then we'll sit down and, and go over them. Um, but also I think the, the courage and character we've shown in certain games, so Kent being one of them away, where Clarkie got that magnificent 140, not out, and, and Brett got 80. Uh, Essex here, where we survived against Harmer, who was turning it. Uh, Lancashire, I think there were five wickets. They needed five wickets in 40 overs, and we managed to save that game. So, you know, little things like that have shown great character, but obviously we want to be turning them into where we're the dominant team in the, in the game. And it must have been a strange week in a way as well. A lot of goodbyes and yeah. a lot of presentations to one of those departing people you spent a lot of time with in that dressing room. Yeah, huge amount. I mean, you know, the three. Uh, Samit played 14 years with him. Um, we obviously bowled quite a lot in tandem in white ball cricket and played a lot of four-day cricket together. Um, Jake's godfather to my youngest daughter, so I got quite emotional actually at the end when he walked off. Um, and Stuart, I think you know, I think that's fitting to have the end named after him. Um, and the way he's gone about it, when you know I've, I've captained him, has been second to none, and I've loved all three of them. Um, you know, and I wouldn't change it for the world. And obviously, we wish them all three of them well in whatever the next journey holds. Um, and more important, I think they'll always be part of the Knotts family. Winter well, we'll see you soon. Thank you.